Hello party people and welcome. It's Star Danielle. If you like good food, good mukbangs, and cute girls, then stick around. I'm in the streets, y'all. I'm doing Chick-fil-A today. I got a spicy deluxe, no lettuce, because y'all don't do lettuce unless it's shredded. Iceberg. Whatever. Um, with the Kobe Jack, careful jack cheese. Got some fries. And I got a little side of mac and cheese. So let's get into these groceries. Everybody got to eat. It is five o'clock. I didn't know what song it was. I ain't ate yet. I've been doing stuff. All day. Well, not all day. Because I didn't get my day started till like 2. I didn't wake up till like 12. Hmm. I'm gonna tell you why. But I got a fruit punch to drink. Mm -hmm. Let me start off by saying Happy New Year 2023. I have not seen you all since the new year. How's it treating you thus far? Um, I don't make resolutions, but I have some goals that I am going to meet this year. And a lot of it, like a cheese stink. Y'all see it? I need some pepper. I wish I had. I got electric salt and pepper shakers for Christmas. I wish I had this thing right now. No, I was saying something about goals. Yeah, I have some goals for this year, and they're all to do with me being a YouTube sensation. You know, that's what I call myself. Um, I, you know, want to be more. Oh, excuse me. I am going to be more actively aggressive with my content, as far as like you know instagram and tiktok being, being consistent make sure i have a posting schedule over on those apps just like i have on youtube i want to get i'm going to get and i keep changing my language because i'm working on manifestation that's something that i have incorporated into my um daily life I am going to get some new equipment for the betterment of my channel. Let me get to the sandwich. Is it too loud for y'all? I know I got the windows, you know, cracked. Sure they ain't put no lettuce. I didn't get no sauce. I don't need no sauce. I hope it's not too loud, but I have been implementing manifestation practices into my daily life. You know, just being very direct with what I want for my life speaking it into existence um getting into my subconscious mind so that it does you know permit itself to show up in my life like i wanted to because i've been about like a couple weeks ago Maybe three weeks ago, I started to listen to Neville Goddard, and he's really big on speaking what you want, speaking on the things you want, the 
the power of the mind, how the mind is very powerful to inhibit things that happen to you and to create things that happen to you. I have, you know, been trying to, you know, when you start on a certain path on YouTube, they make recommendations off the things that, you know, you have been watching. So, along with, you know, listening to the audiobook. So, these are the things I listen to at night. These are the last things that, you know, my eye see or my ears hear, my mind hear, my body feels. Um, as I finish watching, you know, my favorite YouTubers. Who I love on Instagram. I make sure those are the things that go into my mind. Lastly. So I was recommended. Um, this manifestation. Practice. Manifest things while you sleep. And I'm sure you all probably seen these things. Like they have different ones. Attract love while you're sleeping. Manifest me while you're sleeping. Manifest money while you're sleeping so you be rich when you get up. I don't know, I'm making that up, but just basically falling to sleep, falling asleep to you know, manifestation practices. And it's a whole practice and you know, like the one that I use is like the first fifteen minutes is like actual manifesting things. And they give you a whole um there's a whole sequence of things to do before you start actually manifesting. And then once you finish manifesting, the rest of the video, because the video is like eight hours or something. The rest of the video is just like soothing sound, just real tranquil. It's not talking the entire time. So when I'm awake in the morning, I manifest the things that are going to happen to me in my life. I speak it. Also, I pray about it. These things. And the mind is very powerful. I give you an example. Like you can manifest a number of things. You know, you can manifest how you want your future to look. You can manifest your um, your wealth. You can manifest pain or lack thereof pain. You know, I was, and I forgot his name. I remember I was watching Tom Bilyeu. He's like a, you know, very popular, I don't know his title. I don't want to say health coach. But he's just about progression, positivity, communication with people, bettering yourself. So he had a, I remember he had a guest on his show. And a guy, he was deathly ill. I think he had cancer. And it was like, the conversation was like, well, how did you, you know, get past your illness? And he was like, I willed myself. I made sure in what my mind was knowing that I'm getting better. I'm going to continue to get better. You know, this is not going to beat me. And I saw this like months ago. Oh, okay, it's cool. But I actually tried that with a couple of things. I woke up and you know, I was doing stuff and my stomach started to hurt. And the first thing that we do when something hurts on us, we say it, we put it to the world. Oh, my stomach hurts. Or, oh, my head hurts. And before I 
I couldn't even get the words out. I was like, man, my stomach. And I stopped myself. I said, you know what? My stomach doesn't hurt. Stomach, you're not hurting. You're not. And you're going to stop. Because this is not going any further. And I just kept saying that. And then the pain went away. It's important. Earlier this week, I woke up with a headache. I never, I'm not a headache person. I'm just not a person who gets headaches. So, the first time I had awakened, I had a headache. I was like, oh, I had a headache. I can remember if I had like a bad dream or something. I think something like I had a bad dream and I woke up with a headache. I was like, my head is going to stop hurting. It's not going to continue to hurt. So I kind of dozed back off. So when I, the second time I dozed back off and I woke up to the phone ringing, it was as loud as like caught me off guard. And I woke up, I was like, ooh, and that really like, you know, gave me the headache. So after I answered the phone, got a phone, I was like, mm. I talked to my friend a little bit after I got up. And I was telling her, I was like, hey, you know, I woke up with a headache. She was like, you know, do you need to take something? I said, you know what? I'm going to hold off on taking something. I was like, I really been working on manifestation and I'm going to manifest this headache out of my head. And she was like, oh, okay. And that's what I did. I didn't take any medicine. I was like, my head, my head is not going to continue to hurt. This headache is going to go away, and that's it, body. You're going to do what you need to do to get this headache to go away, because it's not happening. Guess what? My headache went away. It kind of goes like with that, you know, if you um, have a family member who's been diagnosed with cancer or some type of illness and the doctor lets you know before they let the actual patient know and as a family or whoever you make a decision like hey we're not going to tell them we're not going to tell them that they have cancer because they know if they tell the people they have cancer it's going to get into their mind and they're going to deteriorate and and this is an actual true story like as far as like i um had someone tell me this about their family members like we knew if we told them they had cancer it would hit right and as long as we didn't tell them that they had cancer they were feeling fine they were like going by life or whatever health was a declining and i think the moment that they told them that they had the cancer that that's when the decline started so I'm really into this manifestation I'm in you know all sorts of praying and you know stop using the words I'm trying it's I am or I am um, um, successful I can I already see the success that's going on but yeah I'm, I'm excited about my future and not just I'm excited about 2023 I'm just excited about my future so I will continue to manifest things I got some great things happening for me. So let's do it. Let's get it, party people. Do you all have goals? Or if you do resolutions, resolutions. Let's talk about it. 
you know, in the comments. Because I'm a YouTube sensation. I'm trying to tell y'all. You gotta know it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Again, Happy New Year. For the people, we are growing. I appreciate all of you. Let's continue to grow. Because we are going to continue to grow. See, you got to change the language. We are going to continue to grow. If you are not a part of people or the person of the party, go ahead and check out some of my videos. If I'm your cup of tea, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and put that bell on so you know when your girl uploads. Leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up and share this content. And I will see y'all in the next one. Back in these streets I go.